Welcome to the big room. I'm Brian Phillips. Uh, performing at Breakaway Music Festival today or tonight. I couldn't find the time anywhere. We'll get to that here in a few moments. I want to give the floor to two feet to get into this however you wish, and then we'll chat a little bit later. How about that? Sounds good to me. All right. Hello, everybody. It's nice to uh, be doing a show again. Uh, you know, it's been like a year and a half, so this is kind of one of the first uh, shows where people aren't in, like, you know, boxes separated from one another. Um, cool. So normally I would play with, like, the whole band and everything, but they had to go set up at the festival, and uh, I still wanted to come by and say hi, so I'm just here with my guitar, and, you know, I hope that's okay. Does everyone here know what a looper pedal is? Just out of curiosity, yeah? Well, for anyone who doesn't know, let me show you. So a looper pedal is this. I play something here while I tap this with my foot. Like that, right? And when I press this button, it plays it back. So I can loop the guitar over itself and play over myself. So I'm just letting you guys know, so if all of a sudden another guitar starts playing, it was... <laughs> It was, it was really me the whole time.
Thank you. <laughs> Two Feet, the Big Room, Breakaway Music Festival. Uh, that was beautiful. And those, the, the loop pedals, um, it, it reminds me when I was in middle school and I played the trumpet and I would play one part and record it and then play over the top of it. So I invented that, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> I never did get any royalties or anything. Oh, no, in all seriousness, that's such cool technology. Does it ever, it takes a lot of concentration though, right? Yeah, because you got to hit it like right on the money or, uh, you know, it, it'll loop off time and it won't work very well or, you know, it's not kind of messed up. So. I have a friend here in town who, who sometimes will play with an array of those. Do you ever mess with that? Um, no, honestly, I have a loop pedal. I haven't used it in years. I used it. I just brought it out for this because I was like, I got to get, you know, I got to, I, I want to be able to still solo over the stuff and yeah. everything. So, yeah. But yeah. I have, yeah, I know what you mean. Some people use like, you know, four of them and like do like a whole show with it and everything. It's crazy. Oh, I would just be sweating the whole time. Just like, <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know how you keep it all straight. I know. Is there, you haven't played any live shows since you were here last year and did one of those drive-in shows, I know. Yeah. Then... That was sort of like everyone was in their cars, yeah, and like kind of separated from one another. So like, um, you know, besides like one other tiny show, you know, this would be like, I guess, sort of the first like real show with like, you know, public and yeah. everything like that, yeah. Do you still get nervous? Um, not really, no. Good. Really. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. I don't want to make you nervous. Uh, you can make me nervous. No, no, I'll no. play I a won't. little better, probably. Oh, really? No, okay. I'll play worse if I'm nervous. Don't make uh, me nervous. Oh, uh, I, I won't. I won't tell you about the ghosts that haunt this building oh, or no. anything. No, I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> kidding. So uh, Two Feet at the Breakaway Music Festival. Are, are there a lot of your friends on the bill? Um, yeah, one of my one of actually I have two friends. Griffin, he's a DJ. Yeah. And then Kygo, he's another DJ. They're both pretty good friends of mine. Okay, good. So you'll be checking them out. Look yeah, for two feet in the crowd. Do not lift you off your two feet no. and, and above the crowd. That, that would not be cool. No. All right, fair enough. How about another song? We'll chat a little bit more. I want to get into this album, Max Mako is Dead, yeah, right? Your sure. latest. So we'll do that here in a moment. What are you going to play? I guess I could do uh, I Feel Like I'm Drowning. Two feet in the big room. You guys are, uh, I like never do this acoustically, so... You're like one of the only people to actually. I don't think I've ever done it acoustically in front of people. I've done it like on you know like the videos that you send to somebody or something. So here you go. First time uh, I feel like I'm drowning acoustically. <laughs> Dreaming and dark scheming, yeah, you're doing. You're a poison, and I know that is the truth. All my friends think you're vicious, and they say you're suspicious. You keep dreaming and dark scheming. Drowning, I am drowning. 
just when you're not around me my life's okay just when you're not around me my life's okay Two feet in the big room. I feel like in watching you, you go someplace when you sing, when you perform. Yeah. I, I've heard artists say before, and this is certainly not universal, but some say that uh, when they're done with a, a show, they, they went somewhere else and they don't have any memory of the performance or anything because they're so inhabited by it, yeah, if you that's will. Yeah, absolutely right. So, yeah, do you feel that way? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, it depends on the show. Um, but certainly, you know, when you get involved in what you're doing, you're soloing or singing or running around the stage, whatever, you know, like an hour and a half will go by in like a heartbeat. You don't remember performing certain songs. You have to be shown like clips afterwards and you're like, wow, that was actually good. You know, <laughs> it's like, uh, yeah, that, that definitely happens to me for sure. Well, it's almost like this is as close as we get to time travel until they invent a time machine, maybe someday. I don't know. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. like you're taken out of time, out of body experience, whatever. That's Absolutely. crazy. Yeah, I, I, it's some weird sort of meditation for sure, yeah. All right, well, if you run into two feet after the performance, let him know that he was up there. Yeah, thank you. That would be appreciative. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I, you know, thank God. <laughs> what time do I go <laughs> on? Oh, wait, yeah, I was already exactly. on. Hey, uh, uh, Max Mako is dead, right? The new album. Who is Max Mako? Max Mako, it's funny that you're actually talking about the live show because, you know, um, when we would perform in front of, large crowds at festivals or arena, whatever. Um, you know, back in the day, a couple of years ago, I used to get really nervous before I'd go up. And um, what I would do is I'd put myself in like a character. I'd like rip my shirt or put on different clothing um, or have, you know, someone like Sharpie all over my arms or something so I could get into like a character so I could pretend that I wasn't the one going up in front of a bunch of people. And so I took that idea of creating a character and I was like, I want to, you know, the pandemic had just hit. And I was like, I want to, I want to, incorporate this into an album somehow. So um, I, I, I started to, like, kind of formulate the character. I wrote, like, his whole backstory and all this stuff just to see, like, you know, have a little extra fun. You know, we weren't touring, so I had some extra time. And uh, kind of just built the character out that way based on who I would pretend to be when I would go on stage. Now, you took this to great lengths, did you not? You worked with some other people that uh, aren't in music to mm -hmm. kind of really flesh out this character, right? Yeah, um, I worked with John Markland. He's an acting coach. He, he uh, did, uh, you know, Rami Malik for Bohemian Rhapsody. He helped him with everything. Um, he's, you know, worked with Tom Cruise, you know, big a big actors. And uh, I hired him to help me kind of get into character. And we basically wrote, like, a whole novel backstory of the character, like stuff that wouldn't even be on the album just so I could, like, really kind of figure who he was out, you know, I straighten my hair and everything. So all of that's in, in uh, the music videos kind of tell a story from the album. Uh, the, the three videos kind of walk through the characters, like life and existence. And we did an animated short. Um, we're doing a couple more. And uh, yeah, it was kind of just a <laughs> crazy experience. Wow, that's fascinating. I know Grandson has kind of played around with yeah. with ideas of, of being a, a character as well. It it, it makes it, I think, more fascinating for you. And do you find that you, in, when it all comes full circle, that you learn things about yourself? Yeah, absolutely. Definitely learn something about, you know, performing, getting into character on stage. Um, and grandson, yeah, he's done that. He's a good friend of mine, too. He's not here uh, tonight. We actually worked on a song together. Um, I'm not sure when that's coming out, but, uh, you know. 
thought I might, might well, as well say it on a radio yeah. station. Yeah. We'll, we'll keep a heads up for yeah. that. He was here last weekend doing Wonder Bus. Yeah, he's a great guy. Great performer. Yeah. I could see you guys touring together. I think that yeah, would no, work he out. Yeah, just came over to my house and we worked oh. for a couple of hours. Oh, and, yeah, it was right nice. on. Yeah. Wow, yeah. small world. That's great. It's a fascinating idea. And you talk about acting and working with an acting coach. Have you thought, well, I'd like to be an actor? Yeah, so... <laughs> Um, the acting coach, John, when I worked with him, he was like, Hey, you know, I really feel like you're, you're pretty good at this. Um, you know, is it cool if I talk to some of my, you know, producer friends, whatever, um, director friends. So I, I met with a couple of them and I'm actually, uh, in October, I'm shooting, uh, my first movie out in LA. Yeah. For uh, a couple weeks. It's like, uh, I'm only in the first like 30 minutes and I'm kind of like a, a scummy boyfriend. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I got a couple more than that, too, so it lined up. So, yeah, wow. acting seems to sort of be taken off. It found you. Did yeah. you ask why you cast me as the scummy boyfriend? <laughs> um, sort of. He was, he was like, I don't know, you know, it just seems like a good role for you. I'm like, all right, that's kind of a backhanded compliment. <laughs> All right. Well, he's really not a scummy boyfriend, I'm ladies not, and gentlemen. Not. It is two feet. Oh, well, thank you so much for being here. We look forward to your performance at Breakaway Music Festival at Historic Crew Stadium. Can we get one more song out of you before we yeah, turn you loose? Um, so you guys, I already feel you know co close and comfortable with everyone here. Uh, this song, I've never done this acoustically. I'm going to try to loop it. If it's horrible, you know, I feel like I feel like I'm drowning. That was a pretty good performance, right? So like, if this one's bad. <laughs> All right. Let's give him some encouragement. <laughs> Thank you. 
you messed up the pedal at the end there. <laughs> Hi. Thank you. Two feet. That was gorgeous. And you know what? A raw if, performance by two feet. Here, if, right? you had, if you had asked me, Brian, what do you want me to play? I would have asked for that song. I made a note of it just in case. Really? And so I was able to somehow do some sort of mind meld here. Zone, zone it in. Yeah, it's, it's my favorite song in the record. So thank you for playing that. It's thank a beautiful you. song. At the beginning, it kind of makes me think of Buddy Holly a little bit, if that makes any yeah, sense. Yeah, it's a little kind of plucky. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and then it kind of takes off from there. It's a, mm -hmm. such a great song. Thank, Thank you for you. playing it. So there's no question in my mind that a real-life scummy boyfriend <laughs> couldn't do a song that great, but Two Feet uh, playing a self-described scummy boyfriend in a movie that you're shooting this fall. What What is the movie called? Um, it doesn't have a... It has a working title. Okay. So, yeah, but it's going to be... I think it's an A24 uh, production. You know them? It's like a... He's not in... Yeah. <laughs> okay. There's more. I, I I tweet about it when I have like that's a beer okay or something, and then I understand. I get yelled at later on. For yeah, divulging yeah. secret information. All right, I don't want to get you into trouble. <laughs> I I'm already uh, uh, intrigued. I, I yeah. can't wait to see it. Scummy boyfriend, two feet coming up <laughs> sometime killed. in the future. Should we take all that out? <laughs> no. I don't want you in. to get sued. I don't want you to get sued. No, that's, leave, leave, that's leave, it my, in, leave, leave it in. Leave it in. Okay, very good. You you just dropped a new song the other day too, didn't you? Yeah. And I dropped one today. Oh, you're just dropping them all over the place. Is this does this lead to an album or are yeah, these stand? I already finished two more albums. Wow. Yeah, I have a problem. <laughs> That's okay. It's a good problem to have. That well, we look forward to hearing them when they come out. Thank you. Just keep doing what you're doing. You're doing great. Two feet, everybody. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being here. We return things now to Control Central. I appreciate everyone coming out. Don't tell anyone about this performance. It was just for you. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.